Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So we got everybody fixed up here. Um, and I think today what I want to try and do, we got 2.8 million. We got to hit our financial report, which is no problem. Uh, I want to try and get enough C bills to get that Black Knight out of storage so we can get her up and running. It's going to probably cost us at least 3 million, I'm guessing, to try and get it up and working. Um, it's going to be a fair chunk of change. So... Um, I don't know if we'll be able to do it this episode because there's not a lot of, if we go to contracts, there's not a lot of missions on this planet that um, are going to give us big payouts that we can actually do. Holovid Propaganda is not bad. Uh, it's a long mission for a million sea bills. So, um, because it's a defend base, we'll be fighting a lot of guys. Potential for taking damage. I would rather not go that route. Intelligent agents... Um, it's against Kurita, but, you know, six, uh, 629,000. I think I'm going to probably be pulling off these two two skull missions here, uh, Battle in the Tundra and Forward Observers. They're relatively easy missions, but it's going to give us quick sea bills. So I'm going to go ahead and do these ones. Um, let's hope uh, we get something good out of it. I'm going to probably mostly go for um, sea bills. And if we can get over... Well, if we, I mean, if we go mostly sea bills here, we should have over four million. We should be able to bring it forward by epi end of episode and see what it's going to take to get it outfitted. Maybe we do get it outfitted if we can get these done fast. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, let's take forward observers first. Uh, it's against pirates, and what we'll do. So, you know, a difference of a hundred and seventy thousand. Will we be able to pick up an item that's going to be worth a hundred and seventy thousand? Let's. I need the sea bells. Let's just go this route. I don't. I normally don't like doing this, but we're just gonna go wreck everything. All right, let's move up. Gonna get a bit of speed first, just to get up into combat. I don't think we're gonna be facing anything too terrible. Of course, the last time I said that, I hear ya. we lose mech pilots. Going turbo. Still feel bad about losing red comment. Receiving. Not much we can do about it now, though. Taking a long time to the head. I don't know. Okay, so I had a comment, and it's valid, um, about. The enemy mechs should move when they're fired on. And I've mentioned this in a couple of episodes now. Um, Bushwhacker, a ghost, a javelin, and a javelin. Um, they should move when fired on, but they don't. Um, even if, like, if they can't see you, they still don't move, right? So the question was, is it an exploit? And my answer was yes and no. I would see it as a 100% complete exploit if um, something was broken. Now, it's not broken, right? Because the enemy generally won't do anything unless it can see what it's doing it against, right? And I, I can see that. But they implemented the stealth system. The stealth system is working as intended. It's just that the enemy mechs um, aren't moving when being shot at. So, it's, it's a, um, I don't know, it's, it's iffy. It sits on the border of being um, exploit or not exploit. I don't really see it as an exploit. Um, I do see it as a um, lack of AI capability. Um, are we exploiting the lack of AI capability? Uh, yeah, maybe. If the game wasn't working as intended, that's the thing. They can't see us, right? They're not doing anything. They can't see us. So I got to find a compromise for this. Now, I could just stand here and continue to fire, right? And most likely they'll stop. They won't see me this battle and they'll all die. Um, so it's, I don't know. I, I'm going to let you guys. Put some comments in the comment section down below. Let me know you how you feel about it. I think what I'll probably do, um, just to kind of balance it out, 
is once we reach that range where we're actually in combat, I have to continue moving forward. Um, I'm not allowed to just stand there and just shoot from a distance. I have to keep moving towards the enemy now. It's, you know, it's iffy. Um, just go this route. Using the swarm, yeah. Uh, it's, I don't know. It's really iffy. It's kind of giving them a chance to fire back. Um, this is just a C-bill run. Uh, I, I'm not saying I should be getting C-bills for free, obviously. Well, that guy's gone. Um, I, I'm not proposing that. I'm just saying that... Of course. I don't know. It's... It's one of those... It skirts the border of... You know, um, what do you want to call it? Of, of um, it skirts the border of um, cheat or not cheat. Honestly, I don't really see it as a cheat. The fact that these guys aren't moving. I mean, how many times have I been shot at by guys I can't see? Yes, I moved. Absolutely. Um, because I'm not an AI. All right, let's hammer this. Whoa, we got a multi-target then. Hang on, give me a second here. Uh -huh. What the fuck? There's more where that came you consider that a double click? What? That's the second time this has happened to me. Um, anyway, um, yeah, the game. See, the game's working as intended, right? It, it's not like it's not it's not like it's broken. It's just that it's the AI is not programmed that way. I don't know. Just drop a comment in the comment section down down below. Let me know what you think. Cause stealth's not broken. Stealth's just working fine. I've had gorillas sneak right up on me, and I've never seen them. Oh, sorry, buddy. Did I take your arm off? That's gotta hurt. Okay, um... See if we can get rid of this guy. Okay, he's gone down. But there's lots of things you can consider as being exploits in this game. Just because you're fighting AI, right? The AI, the AI has definitely been known to make some maneuvers that are like really, really questionable. For instance, you know, you've got those guys that that melee you when they really shouldn't be meleeing. Case in point, <laughs> Ravens. <laughs> um, but I don't know. You got swarms. Let's use them. So let's move into here, like this, and we're going to multi-target. Let's shoot this guy because he's close, and then B will be this guy, the Jenner, and you'll take the swarms, because maybe we hit the guy behind you. Sure. Ah, well, just because it's fun. Yep. Spread it around. Yeah, they've added a, so much awesomeness to this game. Let's get in a little closer. I think we can probably burrow this guy. Oh, yeah. Warlord it up. Targeting this guy. Uh, let's switch these over. Um, well, should we go one acid? Just in case we don't kill him. Let's fire. Yeah, not enough. Well, he is braced in the forest too, right? So, finally getting eyes on. That's the baby. It's the uh, what do you want to call it? The baby um, rave back. Yes, commander. Let's green light this guy. 
at the angle. Taking a shot. Okay. Um, going to multi, I think. Uh, no, let's make sure this guy's gone. Let's just fire right on him. I don't want anybody on my flank here. Come on, people, let's go! So, we're gonna multi again. Yo. And yo. B's gonna take the swarms. Fire. See, the thing I... Uh, I gotta go back. See, I love these swarms, man. If you don't hit the guy you're going after, the one's missiles will go after somebody else. Oh, no, you're not. You got lots of them. Um, an exploit is like using multi-target with, with Warlord. There is an exploit for that. That's what I see as a complete and total exploit, and I won't do it. I, I accidentally did it once, because I had no idea you could actually do that. But I see that as an exploit, right? So... Um, let's fire the mongoose. Yeah, critical hit. Nicely done. Um, here. I read you, Commander. Moving Thank out. you. But just because the enemy isn't moving, I mean, it's that's an AI flaw. That's not a not working as intended flaw. Yeah, you tricky. Enjoy it while you can. Took a hard hit there. Yeah, it's okay. You set the javelin up for the kill, that's the most important thing. Standing by. Uh, I think we're going to leave the ERP for these guys down here. So let's do this. Move order and let's throw this up again with LK. We're going to Warlord now. And I think this guy. Taking the shot. Reporting critical hit. Yeah, man. Okay, we're gonna leave Megasaur to do something else if we don't kill this guy. So firing. Oh man. You set him up, I'll knock him down. Wow. Standing by. Um. Yeah, somebody also mentioned I should probably be putting Case Two in the uh, arm of that uh, bushwhacker. That Gauss rifle, I don't think it's going to stay there much longer. The um. The loadouts that we currently have in these mechs are basically set up for um. Just running to get C bills. Um. I wanted to try the long-range stealth approach, you, which is what we did. Um, so, because that's been really oh, successful... Um, okay, let's just switch this to LK here, because he's already got acid on him. Um, we're probably going to be switching the loadout. Now, this this mech right now is working fantastic, so we'll leave it as the SRM build, but I don't want to keep that Gauss rifle in there forever. I've had very sketchy success with Gauss rifles. Um, I've tried running double Goss builds, triple Goss builds, and they just don't, I don't know, I find the miss rate is extraordinarily high, and I don't, I think it could just be psychological on my part, it just seems like it's high. Um, I think partially it's because of the, uh, um, in Funky Steve's Medina's, that, the series that I did a little while ago, um, we started off with the Jager mech with the, uh, um, Pirate Gauss Rifle, which basically has, like, nothing um, for accuracy. Let me just multi-target this real quick. Sorry, I'm trying to talk and shoot, man. I can't even walk and chew bubblegum at the same time. All right, let's fire this up. So, um, yeah, the Pirate, uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with... Oh, we took his head right off. Um, the Pirate Gauss Rifles, I think, are minus one or minus two accuracy. And they're in the arms of a Jager mech, which had, like, no accuracy to begin with. So, Good to go. um, yeah, I didn't have a lot of success with them, so I ripped Good them out as soon as I could. Javelin and Ghost. Um, 
Let's hammer the javelin. See if we can get some acid on him as well here. Um, so maybe that's partly clouding my decision about not like licking Gauss rifles. I would prefer an Ultra 10. For the weight, it's the same, but the Gauss rifle can fire farther. Um, but the weight is the same, and I think um, it was... Um, um, God, my brain is going just... I'm dying. It was the same person. I'm so, I apologize. I'm sure I'll remember your name in, <laughs> in a second. Oh, uh, my God. Anyway, um, I just got up, so I'm having problems with lots of stuff right now. Um, they mentioned sw swapping it out for the uh, Clan Ultra 10, which I think is a... Oh, yeah. Which is a beautiful uh, solution, I think. It doesn't have the range of the Gauss rifle... But it's almost got double the punch because of the Ultra, and yeah, see, they, these guys can't, they can't really see us. Um, because the Ultra's got double the punch, almost double the punch. So I think that's probably going to be the solution. I do like these all laser builds. You just continuously fire. Never have to worry about ammo. Don't have to worry about ammo explosions. Yeah, you run hot. Um, but the damage... See, for me, the damage per tonnage... Um, you can. There's always ways to mitigate heat. The damage per tonnage of energy builds is just, I think, far superior to just about anything. As long as you can get the sinking in there... The continuous fire Mission and long-term stability of, of um, or long-term staying power of the laser weapons is just, I think, far superior. Okay, so we almost made a million there. Let's get through this. Wow. Sunflower. Girl. Five kills. PPC learn build, man. We got one javelin part. All right. We need those C-bills. Let's keep those rolling in. What do we got here? Yeah, a few things. All right. No time for repairs. Let's just fix this and get right back in it again. Uh, we'll be at the financial report, but that's a fine. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Right, we got to wait for the pilots. Oh, uh, do we try? Sure, we got the sea bills right now. Let's just do it. Yeah, well. Gain 50 grand. Yeah, man. Okay, um, let's do this. We're not bringing pets back, dude. We're going down to fight. All right, full sub or full sea bills. Let's do this. Okay, might have company, eh? Well, we always got company here. I hope not. Ghost bear is not supposed to be anywhere around here. Oh, wait, you mean real bears. Oh, yeah, maybe. Um, so I was just thinking on the drop down here. One way that they could probably solve the issue with um, um, stealthing up on mechs and then not moving is they could have a sh what's called a shutdown bonus. So, for instance... Um, when we're moving like this, right, so the first turn they've got, they've got evasion, um, major evasion bonuses and defensive bonuses, so you can't just basically strike them as soon as they land and kill them, right? Totally get that. That makes perfect sense to me. Um, but what they should do is have shutdown bonuses, so if after the first turn they don't detect anything, they shut down their mechs so the heat signature basically disappears, so they effectively gain a certain amount of stealth. So until they encounter something, they don't do anything, but they gain another, they gain stealth bonus for basically being shut down, quote unquote shut down. So we wouldn't be detecting them at this range. We'd have to be a little closer. So then it would be a stealth on stealth battle and they'd have to be, um, um, we'd have to be a certain um, distance to them before being able to see them. And then, then if they still can't see us in stealth, that's fine. But at least they've got a stealth bonus and have at least a bit of a, uh, Ability to evade what's coming. All right, so this guy has to die horribly. So let's just do that. Let's 
So anyway, if any of the devs are watching, or if anybody feels like posting a comment to uh, the Discord, feel free and go ahead and do so. You don't even have to credit me on it. You can take credit yourself. I don't really care. But it's just an idea. Something that, you know, would at least level the fl playing field with stealth a little bit at the start. Okay, he's moving. Maybe the bushwhacker can see us, that's why. Or maybe they're set to move. Who knows? Bushwhacker is going to be in pain, though, in a second here. Alright, firing. Oh, you missed with the PPC again. we got to get rid of that thing. So many times we've had really good chances to hit and just not hit with it. 4F Spectre. I have no idea if that's good or bad. I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. Bushwhacker trying to decide what he's doing here. Yeah, they can't see us yet. That's okay. I'm not going to give them the opportunity to. At least they're moving, so I don't feel so bad. Once again, I don't really see it as a full exploit. That's the thing. Okay, PPC hit. Nice. I just don't want some, this guy to unload with all these rocket launchers because six damage from a missile is, like, unacceptable to me. Unacceptable. Do we get a tag? I didn't see it. don't think so. Yeah, they're going to see us in a minute. Bushwhackers trying to decide what to do, I think. No, it's the commando. I might be able to wreck this guy in one turn. Do I move over there and just try and wreck him? We're well hidden. I think we do. I hear ya. Satori's got balls. She always has. I apologize for using that term, but it's pretty much it. She's got guts, let's put it that way. Alright, so... Really bad chances to hit here. Warlord's not going to help all that much, so let's make sure we get some... Whoops, acid. Uh, I'm going to switch two to acid just to make sure we get acid on this guy. Yep. Yeah. So she's blown her cover. They should move towards her, and I think she's kind of behind the hill there. Okay, Thunderbolt fire. Looks like the Thunderbolt can do... Uh, well, I know it does fire damage, but I guess it's um, an AoE weapon, too. It doesn't say it in the tooltip, so I wasn't really sure, but maybe it is. Come on, hit that Bushwhacker at least with one of the tags this time. Okay, there we go. Who's going next here? Maybe the commando? Yep. Yeah, you fucking go away. Try and flank my ass. Do we go for the kill on the commando? Or do we just retarget the bushwhacker? I don't know, it's good chances on the bushwhacker. I don't want him firing all that shiz on me. Nicely done. Good hits. Man, I love to be able to shoot that guy in the back, but until this guy's gone, it's not worth it. Alright, firing. Oh, nice. Okay. Kuma Matata moving in. We're going to reserve. 
Got a plan here. Okay, Satori. Let's get the vigilance up. Because I want to take a shot at this guy. Uh, but I need to be relatively close to do it. So let's get into here. I know we're in the rough, but I'm okay with that. Mech is on fire! It's because she's hot stuff. Alright, uh, we already got acid up. So, gonna switch all the launchers to dead fire. And I'm gonna turn off both ER mediums. And I'm just gonna go with dead fire on the back of this guy and fire. Ah, not quite enough. But, that being said, Yeesh. This is a multi. So A and B. B is going to get the gauze and the medium pulse. And A will take the ER large. Ah. Getting close to detection here. Should we be able to clean this guy up here? We dropped all our heat? Really? Already? Bring him warlord it then, man. I guess it's only one turn. Another hit like that and you're toast. He's not having a good day. Ready for orders. You should not be near the front. Go on this guy. Okay, we got a tag on him. Destroyed his foot. Very important foot destruction. Let's get into here. And we're going to multi. And B is going to take the swarms. And fire. Okay, that guy's gone. God damn. She's a good cleanup mech, I tell ya. Tango down. You got that right. That's fine. You just killed two mechs at, in one turn, so. Going after the only person they can see, it looks like. See, stealth is working as intended. It's not like it's not working as intended. Maybe it's a little OP, maybe they need to, to do some modifications on it. But like I said, it's working as intended. It's not like it's not like it's an it's not like it's an exploit. Right? I'm not I'm not exploiting something that's not meant to be exploited in the game. Crap, you knocked him down. Standing by. Heading out. That's how stealth is set up, unfortunately. It's not my fault. <laughs> Here I am defending my right to be able to murder the opposition. Let's finish this up, please. There we go. So, the big question for me is, would this tactic work against like a four skull mission i don't know I, I you saw what happened against the clans right oh we got ultralight gyro cool um in jade falcon freeborn um it's kind of already been shown that that stealth doesn't really work that well against um upscaled um fighting so for instance a five four and a half five skull mission where we were fighting two dashies even though we were moving slowly they still spotted us so it's not like it, we didn't even take any damage. It's not like it's a major exploit in any kind of way, right? So, all right, so let's, whoop, before we do this, let's go. Should have, we just wasted four days, damn it. Let's bring forward the Black Knight. Gonna leave the Arrhenia there for now. Probably gonna need it. So, Knight, where are you? Let's ready you. Let's get this sucker up and running. So let's see how this works out here. Alright, I'm excited for this now. 
Black Knight super kill build. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add all of the non-weapon or non-melee components first. Um, just so that uh, we know how much C bills we're working with here. So we want to grab a half decent sized core. Um, 300 is going to give us what? 4.6? It would normal. 5.8. So that's not too well. We want to go with a 400 though. Uh, we can't go with a 400 if we want to actually be able to have any kind of weight to do stuff with. I wish we had like a 320 or a 340 or something, but we're stuck with what we have, unfortunately. So let's grab that double heat sink kit. Uh, we need to get um, the Clan XL engine, which is the one we wanted to put in here. See, it's like two, like 2.1 million already, right? Uh, so let's grab Clan Endo, and we want to have spiked armor. Gonna max out the armor. And actually we gotta put spiked armor on later. We can't do it right now. because uh, of the melee bonus. So that's that. Now for head components. I'm really tempted to go with the virtual reality pod. Like I really, really am tempted to do that. Um we need a targeting cockpit. We do have a melee cockpit for plus one accuracy. But we're going to use the DNI cockpit and the virtual reality pod just for more evasion and everything. Um, we're going to go with melee or probably most likely. Yeah, let's go with the melee accuracy. I don't think we really need it with the uh, Megasaur in this in this mech, but we're gonna go with that. Now I can't put the uh, DNI cockpit in just yet because it does have, uh, or did. I don't know if it still does. Uh, no, it doesn't have. Oh yeah, it does. Plus ten melee damage when ac activated. So we're not gonna bother putting that in just yet. That's gonna go on last. Um, Anything else that we need right away? Don't think so. All right, so let's get this going. 16 days to get this engine in place. Krupp sacks. Plus 60 melee damage. So it's gone down five points of damage. Plus three melee accuracy. You know, see, I don't need, think we need the melee accuracy cockpit in here. We're going to have so much accuracy with this melee, with melee that we're not even going to need that. Let's keep the regular standard cockpit in here. Um, what else can we, is there anything else cockpit wise? There's a seeker. Cold shot's not gonna help us in any way. Not gonna have any missiles on us. Improved cockpit, it's just a waste on this guy. Energy, ah. Uh, it's probably gonna be a waste on this guy. I mean, we are going to have the the uh, ER um, pirate medium lasers. Um, yeah, let's just put at least something in there. Give them a little bit better chance to hit with the mediums. Not that we're going to be using them all that much just when we're closing, but at least we'll have a little bit of a bonus to hit. Sure. All right, so now we're going with melee only bonus damage. So it's these guys, the Jade Talons, go on the feet. And we just have regular Talons up here too, I think. Um, talons, Talons, where are the Talons? Here they are. Um, Now, spike leg boots used to be able to use them at the same time, but you can't anymore because it replaces the foot actuator. Okay, so let's start. Um, we want the defensive gyro. Um, 
So those are just bonus damage. We're going to be going with the claws. Wow, they really reduced it, eh? It used to be plus 70% melee damage, now it's plus 40. Okay, that's fair enough, though. Fair enough. Where do they go, actually, on the hands, eh? So there's no hand over here, so you can't put it on this side. Okay, so weapons. We need to go with... I think we have five... ER... Where are they here? Pirate ER mediums? We got five of them. So... Since we're really not using them in any other real capacity other than bonus melee damage, right? They got six... Add six melee damage. We're just going to add them in the torsos. Um, the reason being, we want to keep them protected from getting destroyed. And they're, since they're not really a primary weapon, I don't really care about the accuracy on them, which is kind of reason why I put the plus one accuracy here to help them a little bit. But they're not really that important. So we're going to drop them there. Um, what do we got weight wise? We got a shit ton of weight left. So we got to get this fixed first. We're going to try it a different way. Now someone had mentioned to me that you put all the bonus damage items on first, then you confirm and fix the mech, and then you come back and put all the bonus damage plus percentage weapons on next, like so like the, the uh, um, like spike fist or any of that kind of stuff, the claws will go on next, and then you confirm it and let that get built, and then anything that's just plus percentage you put on last uh, in the third round of, of fixing and you get that done and that should give you a higher output than doing it all in one shot by adding all the it, things in the same order that I just said so I don't know we're gonna try it and see how that goes um, I was uh, hitting 324 I think with this guy before uh, now of course it'll be different because the numbers have all changed so it won't be an accurate representation but um, I can't remember who it was, and I apologize. They said that it should be hitting over 400. So we're going to try it this way, just to see how it goes. If we can get up over, um, well, I don't think we'll be 324 again, because the, uh, the claws and the armor are only plus 40% melee damage. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So let's confirm this. We'll get it fixed. So I guess we'll have to finish this up next episode. We'll do that when we come back. Uh, I'm probably going to jump systems now. Uh, go to a system that's a little bit harder, something that's, you know, we've got enough sea bills, we can wait a couple of months, but we, I want to go to another system that's a little bit more difficult. We're at two and a half skull planet right now, we're at Ortho here, or Otho. Um, so we're going to move to like a three, three and a half skull planet, and um, then when the Black Knight comes back, we can try it out with the Lance and see how it goes. And if it's working well, I'm gonna just going to drop the Arinia into uh, storage for now. The command console was nice. Um, to have in that mech, but I think uh, we'll probably be switching things up very, very shortly um, with loadouts and such. So, anyway, all right. So I'm going to leave the episode there. Hope you liked it. If you did, drop a like and and any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.